Thanksgiving can be a stressful time of year. So we're shooting this video to let you know that there are so many options for shopping and saving money, cooking and recipes, preparing your food, your menu, the activities you can do with your family, and wonderful, beautiful table decorations. So stay with us and give us some great comments on what you're doing for Thanksgiving this year. Money Smart Family. This is an interview we did with a national TV network the week before Thanksgiving last year. So even though prices may vary, the deals on the items are still the same. About just Thanksgiving in general and the big sales that are going on right now. Uh, obviously you have some food laid out. What, how, how do we know that these, are these really on sale? Are these really good deals right now, the Thanksgiving traditional foods? Um, I would say yes. Thanksgiving has so many great things on sale. And obviously I've been doing this for a long time. So I've kind of learned over the years what is a good deal. But I will tell you, this is the best time of year to buy stuffing. And I saw a record breaking price this year for us. It was a, a digital coupon this last week and it was 49 cents a box. And I doctor stove top up and absolutely love it. Again, this time of year, your cream of mushroom and your cream of chicken soups, um, Digital coupons, 49 cents a can. You can buy up to six. So this is definitely the time to do that. Okay, Jello goes on sale. Uh, pudding goes on sale. Uh, let's talk about some of these things. Pie filling, this is the best time of year to buy pie filling. Um, you'll pay $2.50 a can instead of $5 a can. So even if you use it throughout the year, buy it right now. Believe it or not, canned pineapple is on sale this time of year. A lot of people make jello molds and they use it. Um, best price that I've seen in our area of the Southwest is 69 cents. I've never seen, again, record breaking um, uh, price. Cranberry sauce can be finicky. I haven't seen the best price show up yet. It can be anywhere from 49 cents to 99 cents. So let me slow it down a second and just talk about when this stuff goes on sale. Annette being a super frugal shopper, she isn't just buying enough for this Thanksgiving. She'll buy enough cranberry sauce to last us a year. This stuff is really shelf stable. Yes. Uh, the same thing with, with the pie filling. We use this for several different uh, yes. recipes throughout the year. So she'll buy five or ten. So what you want to do is when prices are low, stock up right. and buy enough that will last you till the next sale. But even if you don't have lots of storage space. Thanksgiving is one of the most economical holidays out there because they put everything on sale. Canned vegetables are on sale. Baking ingredients, if you do any baking for Christmas, they're also going to be on sale from flour and sugar, sometimes nuts, sometimes chocolate chips. All of that stuff is going to be on sale. And of course, the produce items that everybody loves to buy, like potatoes to make mashed potatoes yeah. fresh. And yams, I make this amazing candied yam recipe. That's on our website, moneysmartfamily.com. Fresh cranberries, we have a delicious fresh cranberry sauce uh, with apples. Again, that's on our website. A lot of my recipes are on our website. So the whole point is, even d down to the turkey. Right. Turkeys, right now, uh, we saw a price of 67 cents mm -hmm. a pound, which was the lowest we've seen so far. We do an annual turkey shout out on our Facebook page, and we get prices from all over the country. Typically, turkey prices will drop at least 50%, sometimes 70% off of what the normal retail price is. So if you have a freezer, which we have a, a large freezer, you can buy two or three turkeys and then be eating that poultry meat, which is healthier for you. It's mm -hmm. good quality. Um, it's great to cook in the wintertime right. because it warms up your house. Right. So we used to, when the kids were all home, we used to buy a lot of turkeys right. and stock the freezer, and we cook one a month throughout the year. So I want to show. I want to show you something. First. Now watch this. When people think about food storage and the, the timing and everything, if you look at a frozen turkey, there is no sell-by date. There is no expiration date. And we talked to a butcher at the grocery store who was a Navy chef, and he said that when they would ship out on tours of duty, they would have two years worth of turkeys in the in the freezer, and free, turkeys that are frozen, vacuum sealed lose none of their freshness, lose none of their nutrition, and they're just as good 18 months from now or a year from now or two years from now as they are today. So stocking up on turkeys is a good thing to do when the price is really cheap. And again, our Cut Your Grocery Bill in Half, which is our second book, has all kinds of fabulous tips 
for saving money on groceries. So if you're on the fence, like if you've been thinking about buying a freezer, now is the time to do it because you're not only going to find turkeys on sale, but believe it or not, sometimes Thanksgiving is the cheapest time to find ham if you cook a ham for Christmas. And I don't know why. I think they're trying to generate those sales and get them going. And if you do a turkey for Christmas, now is the time to buy that turkey also. So Thanksgiving is like one of the most awesome weeks of the year Although, to start shopping. And it happens pretty much this week. The the food ads come out this week, the food right. the ad flyers for going all the way through Thanksgiving next week. So this is the week. One other cool deal that we picked up was after Thanksgiving, fresh turkeys that were not sold the retailers will drop the prices on. So one year we picked up fresh turkeys for 59 cents a pound. So just know that there's going to be deals before Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving. The fresh turkeys were 39 oh, cents a oh, pound. I guess I was wrong on that. And they were an awesome buy. So um, definitely consider doing that. And they're in the hard plastic, and so freezing them is no problem. So um, you guys covered a lot of things that are good to stock up on right now. Do we typically, I mean, so it makes sense to buy now for, for Christmas, it sounds like, Christmas cooking. Do the sales typically come back around for Christmas time for food, or, or is this definitely the best time? There will be sales again at Christmas time, but this is the best. If you think about it, um, all faiths really celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is an American tradition. Mm -hmm. At Christmas, things are divided mm -hmm. as far as faith-based uh, holidays so some and celebrations. Families, some families won't buy a ham because they're not celebrating Christmas. They're celebrating Hanukkah or Correct. something like that. So, so there, there are, there's more commonality and more people celebrating Thanksgiving, so there's a bigger market for selling yes. specific items. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. No, it's a bigger market for them. I get it. Yep. Um, so you guys talked a little bit about other food prices that will probably be higher right now. Right. So this because because the stores are focused on what they call lost leaders. They want to get you into the store. They're going to lure you in with a low price turkey and all the other um, accoutrements to go with Thanksgiving. They aren't going to drop their uh, beef prices. They aren't going to drop their Corn fish, prices. Fish, uh, fish prices. All those things are going to be normal or higher because they're not using those as an incentive to lure you in right so if you can minimize your shopping of other items you know just you know don't cereal isn't going to be on sale that kind of stuff focus on this you're going to save more money and of course if money is tight this year this is a great time to go through your pantry go through your freezer and eat the foods that are there most people have more foods in their house than they even realize so don't worry about purchasing things that aren't a part of the whole Thanksgiving feast. Just use what you have in your house this year. And let's, let's flip the coin. And if you are blessed and you have lots of extra money, um, if you have the opportunity to pick up a turkey at 69 cents a pound or pick up two or three of them and donate them to a food bank, this is a great time to help uh, the, the soup kitchens and, and those mm -hmm. people helping the underserved um, eat a decent meal. Any um, changes that you've seen in food prices this, this go around this holiday season that will be affected by like all the tariffs and things that have happened? That's a great question, Liz. The uh, tariffs that uh, the president has imposed on China and, and uh, any other places that we are importing a lot of goods have not affected food prices yet. I spoke with a, a PR director at one of our local grocery chains and he said they haven't seen any price changes. And I spoke with a uh, spokesperson for the American Farm Bureau this morning, and they don't expect any prices to change in the near future, although in the long term there could be higher prices, especially on pork. They're saying that the farmers are going to be affected eventually, but uh, those it, it's going to happen at some point in time. For consumers, we just need to know our prices. Right. With the changes in the tariffs, I, I think uh, some consumers will want to become more price savvy. So you want to know and learn what the buy prices are for things and stock up prudently. Like it does no good to stock up on something if it goes rancid or it goes bad. You have to know what your burn rate is and then you have to stock up according to what the burn rate is for your household. Burn rate means how quickly you go through things. 
are some of your favorite apps or circulars to, you know, find these Thanksgiving food savings? Because that's the hunt, you know, the cheapest turkey per pound. It is, absolutely. And a lot of people just do not have time for paper coupons anymore. If you do, great. You can save money. But make sure you have the apps for your favorite grocery stores. They are all doing digital coupons now. And some of them will let you stack. So you'll have a store coupon, a digital coupon, and the sale. And you can walk out of there with amazing deals. Another great app that we can send you a link to is Ibotta. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so you can, it takes time to do all of that. But if you've got the time, do it. You know, everybody has some downtime in their week, whether they're running errands and waiting, uh, whether they're waiting for kids, whether they're waiting for doctor's appointments, whatever it is, uh, whether they're watching a boring movie, and use that time to go into your grocery store digital coupon apps and load the coupons. The other app that is really helpful is called Flip. I think it's F-L-I-P-P. -P. And that's one where they have all of the store circulars in the app. So you can search much easier uh, to find out what's on sale. Oh, I like that. What else do we need to know about holiday food or anything else that you want to bring up um, that's kind of, you know, timely in your world right now? Okay, all I would say about hosting for the holidays is let people help. And if you're a little bit nervous about their abilities, you know, give them easy things. Like, like, okay, yes, homemade dinner rolls are wonderful, but let somebody bring dinner rolls. You know, yes, to make all your own pies is great, but maybe if time is tight this year, you make one pie and you let everybody that comes bring a pie. So Drinks are another thing. Okay, so we're hosting Thanksgiving dinner for about 25, 25. people. And the cost to us is going to be the turkey and some potatoes and setting the house up. We're, and, we're, and, the, like, and the broccoli. I'll probably get broccoli. So, but so our cost is probably going to be about $15. Maybe, yeah. Okay? And, and we're hosting 25 people. And we're letting other people participate and bring. And that's kind of the whole idea of Thanksgiving, right? The pilgrims and the, the Native Americans got together one day to celebrate the harvest. And they all brought stuff. I don't know that anybody brought uh, candy yams with... Um, uh, uh, marshmallows on them, but they brought something. Anyway, it was, a, it was a celebration where people participated, and that's what we do for Thanksgiving. Right. Okay, uh, and just uh, out of curiosity, what's your face, each of yours favorite Thanksgiving food? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I like it all, but I only make candy yams once a year, yep, yep. or at, sometimes twice, sometimes for Christmas, so that's a really special treat, and I think you know, the pies, we, we're trying to get away from eating lots of desserts. So the, the pies will be really, really fun. We're going to have a, uh, you know, the traditional pumpkin pie and chocolate pie. And then there's going to be uh, an apple pie and a lemon meringue pie. So those are all your favorites? <laughs> <laughs> I said one. We'll yeah, stick. Here's <laughs> one. I love the candy DM she makes. They're slathered in butter and sugar, and they caramelize, <laughs> and they are so good. And there's crispy edges, and there's soft middles, it's and they're warm. And we have a video where we take them out of the <laughs> and you can hear them sizzling. They're so good. It's oh. actually brown sugar that I yeah, use yeah. to give them that oh, caramel flavor. Soft. But, yeah, I mean, everything about the Thanksgiving feast is yummy. Mashed potatoes are definitely one of my comfort foods. Yeah. Now, so. now, beyond food, what we do, we started a tradition years ago. This <laughs> you, you may not even use it. We started a tradition years ago where we took our kids out in the backyard with our Red Rider. BB red, guns. Red, red, yeah, whatever, the BB guns. <laughs> and we shot our own turkeys. Oh, I made, wow. I made, not literal turkeys. I made, I, made car, <laughs> I made cardboard signs of turkeys, and I put them on sticks, and our kids shot turkeys. And now, now we use metal signs, but, but we have fun on oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. We, so we've got 25 people coming over, some of them from out of the country, right. celebrating their first Thanksgiving Here in, in America. America. And so they, we're gonna, Steve is going to give a little speech on what America is about and, about and, and about. about the history of Thanksgiving. And we're really excited this year. It's going to be a really fun and different Thanksgiving. And we didn't want the holidays to be just about food. So that's why every one of our holidays has some sort of activities. We'll probably start out the afternoon playing washers and bocce ball, and then we'll progress to turkey shooting. Not literally, but turkey shooting. <laughs> it's more humane. Than <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we'll have, and then we'll have a, a delicious meal. We'll all go to sleep on the couch. Right. <laughs> and you overdose. <laughs>